What's up guys, this is Android Knight and this is my top 10 icon packs for Android 2014. So if you don't like icon packs, this probably isn't going to be the video for you. If you want to know how to set icon packs, I use Nova Launcher but there's a bunch of other different ways to do it. If you just Google, you'll be able to find one. I'll put links to all these icon packs in the description below. If you want to make your home screen look 3D like mine does in this video, the way the icons move um, on top of the wallpaper, I'll put a link to my guides doing that in the description as well. With all that being said, enjoy the video. Right guys, the first icon pack is Belle UI, which I believe means beautiful in French. As you can see, this one's kind of rounded, it's somewhere between the square ones and the circle ones. I'm just going to open up the app drawer so you can see sort of the whole effect. It looks pretty good. For those icons which it doesn't have an icon for, for example these bottom two, it just uh, gives it the nice shaped background and chooses a random colour. As far as sort of a unity across the whole icon pack, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Next up we've got Click UI. This one I really like. It's got a sort of matte finish but it doesn't wash the colour out completely so it's still kind of bright. And if I open up the app drawer you can see it gives everything that circle background so even your apps which it doesn't have icons for look really really nice. This is definitely one of my favourite ones. These circle design ones, they tend to look better as an entire icon pack when you sort of see all your applications skinned. Right, this next icon pack is called Crichton or Cryoten, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. This one's kind of similar to the previous one except that as you can see the colours are slightly more washed out. It looks more washed out than it is on camera, it looks a lot better in real life um, than it actually does on the camera. It's just kind of difficult to film. But it's a really nice sort of washed out, almost watercolour matte effect. And if I open up the entire drawer you can see that as before, all your icons look really sort of unified, it looks really really nice. It drops all into a circle and the colours just look fantastic. It even gives a wash over um, icons it doesn't give an icon for. It gives that nice sort of matte effect wash, sort of watercolour wash. So um, everything looks sort of really unified and nice. This icon pack is called Lumos. This is the one I've been using quite a lot in uh, most of my videos. Again, looks sort of matte effect but keeps a lot of the colour. Also has these nice little drop shadows um, under each icon, which I'll try to get to focus. Uh, I think you can kind of see it there. And again, if we open up the app drawer, you can see it makes it look really, really unified. It's got a really nice selection of apps. Um, the majority of the ones I use are skinned, and even the ones that aren't skinned, as you can see, gives a nice little border, makes it, the se um, makes it the same shape so it all looks uniform. Looks really, really nice. This next one is called Lux Icon Pack, and this is kind of cool. It almost has like a metallic shine effect to it, or um, sort of an oil paint kind of finish. It looks really, really bright and nice. Gives it a slight sort of 3D effect. They look like they've got a little bit of depth to them, like they're actually sort of objects rather than icons. And again, if we open up the drawer, you can see pretty good um, as far as making all the other icons look sort of part of the set. It's not the best, certainly isn't the worst though, it um, shapes them all nicely. Um, doesn't give them much of a wash of colour, they look pretty similar to um, how they did before. But um, all in all it's not too bad, it looks fairly unified. And this icon pack is called Moonshine, this is pretty different. It doesn't actually give them backgrounds, as you can see it just gives them um, sort of icons that look like separate objects. So the way this looks is going to be influenced by um, which apps you choose. I wouldn't actually have these sort of applications there if I was running this icon pack just because sort of Spotify looks so different from Keep and the size is so different from the camera. But um, if you open up the whole drawer you can see the majority of apps look pretty good. Because of the fact that it doesn't have a background it doesn't look quite as unified as some of the other ones. Um, that being said some of the colours are really really nice. Um, and I know quite a lot of people who have commented on my videos um, who use this one. So that's Moonshine. This next one is called Naxos Taz, and it's kind of similar to Moonshine in that it doesn't give backgrounds, they're just sort of floating objects. These are a little bit more minimalist, I really do like this one, it's really different. Um, there's not many icon packs or anything like this, you can see there are a few things that aren't skinned. Um, I'll open up into the drawer, and you can see it's pretty good. Things that aren't skinned don't stand out a huge amount, but they don't look particularly unified, so for example that BBC iPlayer one up there because it's bright pink, um, it definitely stands out more than for some of the other icon packs. But if this is the look you want, and it's a really sort of um, it's a look that you don't really achieve with any other icon pack, it's almost sort of a neon-y floaty effect. It looks really, really nice. Um, this is Naxos Taz, and there's also a nice widget set that goes along with it, which I'll put a link to in the description. The next one is great for you Game of Thrones fans. This is Stark. Um, it's actually after Tony Stark, I believe, but um, I'm going to take it to be the Stark family. You can see it's square. It's really, really square. The colours are quite bright. Um, it's a fairly good representation of how they look actually on the camera. If we open up the drawer, you can see because it's square and it's pretty simple and colourful, it pretty much makes everything look unified um, and together. The last couple there you can see don't quite work. Um, just because they have their own, um, they have their own backgrounds. But um, all that being said, um, this is a pretty good icon pack. It looks really nice. It's got a really nice selection. This one is called Velour. This is probably my favourite circle icon pack. 
you can see it's again that really nice little watercolour matte effect. It's got drop shadows going that way and it also gives these nice little coloured um, outlines around icons so you can see if it will focus. Come on. There's a white outline around Hangouts and there's sort of a dark grey blue one around Camera, um, sort of a more orangey one around Keep. It just look, it works really really nicely, it gives it a little bit of variety but also gives it that sort of whole unified look. Um, like autofocus is going mental. If we open it up, again you see it looks really really nice and unified, even apps that don't um, don't have icons that look really good. And I really like the fact it's got all the different, um, different colour outlines which um, seems to correspond with the icon quite nicely. And this is the last icon pack, this is Voxel. This is really nice, again, kind of like Stark, it's a big square one and has drop shadows. Colours are really, really bright, they're almost primary. Um, if we'll focus, come on. Yeah, that's good enough. You can kind of see that there. I'll open up, <clears throat> excuse me, the app drawer. As you can see, because it's huge, big, um, sort of primary style colours, or bright, I should say, rather than primary, um, you can see most things work quite well. Again, these ones, because they have the icon um, and they have their own background, they look a little bit weird, but they don't look too bad. Um, so yeah, you get the full effect of that. If you haven't seen me before, please subscribe. Please comment below if there's anything you'd like to see or any other icon packs you think I should have included in this list. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.